Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to show you guys a really awesome Cydia tweak called Multi-Flow that is spelt with zero, and basically it is the way that multitasking should have been and the way the UI should have been designed. So this is Multi-Flow version 2.1, and it is a free upgrade for everybody who has already purchased it. If you don't have it, then you can just open up Cydia and search for Multi-Flow, and instead of an O, it's a zero. And once you search for it, you can just click on it. You don't even have to add any repos. It should just come up. And it is only $4.99 inside of Cydia. So uh, here is my iPhone, for instance. And first of all, I'm going to show you all that uh, the normal multitasking in 4.2.1 uh, just looks, it looks all right. I uh, know it was actually introduced in iOS 4, but uh, it just is kind of missing something. I don't know. It just looks too simple almost. So now I'm going to show you multi-flow. Uh, here it is, and it's just a really nice card feature. Now, this card feature was added uh, actually yesterday, which was the 13th, and uh, you can do some pretty cool stuff in cards. For instance, to exit out of things, you can tap on the X, or if you want to exit out, you can tap and hold on a card and just slide up, and it slowly fades, and uh, then once you release, it's gone, but if you still haven't released, you can just pull right back down, and it reappears, and you can get it there. You can also go down, bottom, up, down, bottom, up, and then uh, if you want to get to your other cards, you just slide to the left or right. Now to actually edit multi-flow and to change things, you're going to go into the standard settings app and then you're gonna scroll down until you find multi-flow then you can go into it and you can change a whole bunch of different things such as activation methods you can also change the switcher style which as I mentioned cards was just introduced yesterday but I actually like expose a lot better and here's why because when you activate it it puts them in a really really nice uh, over-the-top design and uh, what you can do for instance as you can see calendar is in the bottom right hand corner I can actually put it right above where uh, the Google app is and put it up there I can rearrange them so that is a really really nice feature unfortunately I can't just uh, push them off to the side to delete them like you can in the cards mode they just snap right back down into place but what you can do is tap on the X's if you want and in both modes it gives you the option to just tap on a black area to exit out of it so that is really nice and another thing that I really like are the icon overlays for instance I will turn them off and show you what the cards look like and uh, here they are and then I'm going to go back into it and uh, turn it on and show you what they look like now as you can see it overlays the actual icon just straight over the different cards so it looks really nice and this is just a really awesome multitasking feature that you can have if you're on an iPhone or iPad so it's really really fast really responsive as you can see I have it up now and I'm going to go to iFile now I'm gonna bring it back up and I'm going to go to uh, weather and it just loads up super super fast there's almost no lag time it's almost instant I really really recommend this and if you like Apple's version of multitasking you will absolutely love this because it's just amazing and it looks so much better so uh, I really hope you guys like this video please comment in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think and also rate and subscribe this is ICU signing out